No. <laughs> Alright, real quick, what I'd like to show you guys is how to find or uh, how to determine the domain, the x intercept, the asymptote of a logarithmic equation. Um, what thing you guys have to notice about a logarithmic equation is you have your parent graph, it looks at in this format. And the one important thing is that the x intercept is at 0, comma 1. Now, if I'm going to be graphing a different logarithm, I'm sorry. Before I go ahead and graph this, the couple of key elements, I know that the x-intercept is at um, 1 comma 0. I know that the asymptote uh, is at 0, when x equals 0. And the domain is going to be from 0 to an infinity. So. When now what I need to do is I need to look at this and I need to determine what are the transformations that's happening to this problem. And I look at, and since my transformation has x minus 2, since that's within the function, can you please not do that right now? Since that's within the function, I know that I'm going to be shifting two spaces right. So without even knowing my, I already know my parent graph is like this. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift the intercept two spots to the right. Then the last step is, I have a negative in front of my function. So when I know when I have a negative in front of my function, that's actually going to invert it over the x-axis, or I'm sorry, flip it over the x-axis. So now my graph is going to look like this. Therefore, I know that now my asymptote, if it was originally at 0 and I shifted 2 to the right, now I have an asymptote at positive 2. So my asymptote now is at um, when x equals 2. Um, my intercept, my inter x intercept is at now 0, 3. And now I also have a domain which is from 2 to infinity. So that is how you determine the domain x intercept asymptote of a logarithmic equation.